Today, we will be discussing the concepts of soul making. Soul making is an alternative way for knowing ourselves and looking into the depths and real meaning of what we are doing in our everyday life. It is a form of crafting stories or transforming brief moments into images or symbols. It is connecting with people, understanding culture, adding between tolerance and peace. Soul making is an exploration or application of the imagination in an active way. It can be an innate gift or a learned skill or a combination of both. Crafting images refers to imaging or representing in any form, which may be through painting, sculpting, drawing, storytelling, poetry, dancing, composing, or taking notes. The moment we write, engrave, and inscribe our own thoughts, ideas, commentaries, criticisms, and positive and negative emotions, we are crafting stories. Crafting Instruments According to Narciso 2016, an instrument maker is a bridge to white and because the instrument produces sound that transcends our feelings, emotions, and sensation in another realm. Our life is full of movements, it is full with various beats. Life is full of flowing images, accompanied by flowing narrative. category of soul making is the crafting of images. From the word itself images, it refers to representing images in any form. It may be through painting, sculpting, drawing, storytelling, composing of poetry, or taking notes. If you are asking why storytelling, composing of poetry, and taking notes belongs to crafting images, it's because when we are doing these things, we are already generating images through the use of our mind or imagination. So here are some examples of crafting images. The first one is the painting. Painting is an act of making images using paint. For example, the Starry Night. This painting was painted by one of the most famous painters during his time. Michael Angelo. Next is the drawing. Drawing is an act of making an image with the use of pencil, pen, marker, chalk, and etc. The third one is the sculpting. Sculpting is an act of making an image by molding a clay, stone, or simply means making a sculpture. The fourth one is the storytelling. Storytelling is when someone reading a story for his or her audience and those listeners already making scenarios or images in their mind. And the last two examples of crafting images are composing of poetry and taking notes. Crafting Instruments Crafting is an activity or hobby of making decorative articles by hand and imagination. For instance, the picture shows a flowers made up of any colors of paper and all of us can make this kind of art. It is considered as a craft because it refers to work done where the imagination and the hand of the maker are evident. Now, let's talk about crafting instruments. A transforming any found or used object in and into a musical instrument allows one to discover harmony and balance to produce a sound that is entertaining and handsome and magical. Example of this is the homemade tambourine. Tambourine is a percussion instrument resembling a shallow drum with small metal discs in slats around the edge played by being shaken or hit with the hand. 
We have seen that there are two pictures of tambourine but has different materials used. A photo in the left side shows the original tambourine made up with metal discs and other material. And the photo in the right side is the craft tambourine made up with recycled materials that are found anywhere to transform into a tambourine instrument. Moreover, crafting has emerged as a fashionable form of self-expression. Hello! Good day everyone! My name is Deji S. Zarga, and today I'm going to present to you my report in the soul making or the art making in the category of performance. So please stay tuned. As a starting point, allow me to guide you through to my presentation. So if I would say, how was your performance today? I could be asking a teacher, a worker, a student, or even a performer. Performance is a recurrent term within today's general lexicon. Yet, practitioners and theorists in the field of performance studies disagree as to what constitutes this nebulous art form. Life is a performance of art. In fact, as humans, during our face-to-face -face social interactions, we perform the identities we construct for ourselves in an attempt to engage with our peers and gain their acceptance. Using various verbal and nonverbal cues, we adopt these identity performances according to our audience and social context, much like a theater actors playing a role. When you see an actor perform a role, you know what's going on. They are embodying and portraying the story of a character for a period of time. Everyone looking on knows this. You don't believe they actually are that character. So, the goal of the great actor is to help the audience forget they know it. But in essence, they are using performance to communicate one part of the story. Our life is full of movements. It is filled with various beats full of flowing images accompanied by following narratives. Everything we do in life is performance. We perform live at times with the past to capture the movements for energy and the world. So, this time, we are going to define what is performance. So, according to Wikipedia, performance is a completion of tasks with application of knowledge skills, and abilities. It is generally comprises of an event in which a performer or group of performers present works of art to the audience. So by this time, we are going to go beyond the meaning of performance itself. According to Walker Art Center, performance of contemporary artists has evolved to emphasize spontaneous, unpredictable elements of chance. Performance artists has, have tried to interpret various human activities, form ordinary activities such as chores, routines, and rituals to socially relevant themes such as poverty, commercialism, and war. So, through performance, artists have tried to give meanings to the human activities. It may be complex or ordinary from the chores to everyday routines that we used to do, or even rituals. And basically, they also portrayed the relevant themes that happened in our society, such as poverty, commercialism, and war. And by that, we can identify or determine that specific performance through their facial expressions, movements, and gestures of their body. And by that, we can determine that they give meaning of that theme. In this connection, an effective performance is determined by achievement skills and competency of a performer, level of skill and knowledge. Spencer and McLean in 1994 defined competency as a combination of motives, traits, self-concepts, attitudes, cognitive behavior skills, 
or content knowledge that helps performer to differentiate themselves superior from average performer. A performance may also describe the way in which an actor performs. In a solo capacity, it may also refer to a mime artist, comedian, conjurer, or other entertainer. I hope you learned something from my report. Thank you for listening.